Hello everyone, this is Major Green, also known as Nitpick Nerd, and today I want to talk about something funny in uh, Star Wars Episode 8, uh, which seems to have uh, the biggest amount of uh, plot holes from any Star Wars movie. And this one is regarding Rey, which also ties to the whole issue of uh, her being a Mary Sue, being a perfect character without any flaws, uh, who is uh, the strongest, most moral, most clever, everything in one uh, character, all the best traits with no defects, no flaws. In episode 7 we see that uh, she lived on a desert planet, apparently without any kind of uh, seas or oceans or lakes. And uh, she left that planet in the end of episode 7 looking for Luke Skywalker and uh, now she found him in episode 8. And a day later she falls into that uh, body of water and yet somehow she knows how to swim. Now I do think the movie should have shown her actually struggling, meaning I don't think she should have actually drowned and uh, be killed that way. She should have gotten out, but I do think the movie should have spent a few seconds to show that she's actually struggling underwater before she's able to pull herself out. And it will also add a little bit of excitement, a little bit of tension to the movie, so that will be a very good thing for the movie as a movie. And also it will show that she's not a perfect character, that she has some uh, flaws, some weaknesses, so it will add something to the character that will uh, humanize her, make her seem more uh, vulnerable. And so I don't know why they didn't do that. So I do think they forgot about this uh, plot point of her growing up on a planet of desert, which apparently had no big sources of water. So they should have shown her actually struggling to get out of the water. You know, there was a moment earlier in the movie in which she was standing in the rain and she apparently was kind of happy to see the rain. So that was a nice moment because we know she came from a desert planet and so obviously she'll be excited and happy to see a little bit of rain, to see some water. So that was a nice little moment of uh, showing us uh, that she's happy to see rain and it also shows that uh, the creators of the movie knew about it, they didn't forget that she's from a planet of desert. And so why didn't they do it here? So I guess they really did forget that she's not supposed to know how to swim if she never swam uh, before. So I do agree that this was a, a stupid thing in the movie, that they should have shown her struggling to swim, it would have made it much better. But on the other hand, can we really call it a plot hole? Uh, because we didn't see her like uh, swimming perfectly. You know, if they show us that she's swimming underwater and she's diving to do something without any trouble and she swims like an Olympic swimmer, then that would be a real uh, plot hole. But uh, what they actually showed us is that she fell into the water and she came out. But they didn't really show how she swims, how well she swims. And so I guess it can be argued that uh, even an untrained person who doesn't know how to swim will be able to swim a little bit just to get out. You know, if you just frantically kind of move your hands and legs, you will be able to swim a little bit. So maybe that was enough for her to get out. So is it really a, a huge plot hole? I don't think this is so unrealistic for someone to be able to get out of a, a small pool of water, even if it's the first time swimming. And also we don't really know enough about Jakku. I mean, we've seen it from space. We see that uh, it has no oceans and no seas. But maybe there are some places of some small body of water. Maybe there are some caves uh, with some water in them. Obviously people are able to live there, so there is some kind of water sources. We did see some giant animal drinking a lot of water on that planet. Maybe it's all imported from other planets, but maybe it's also, it's existing some places on the planet. Maybe there are even swimming pools, maybe Ray once went to a swimming pool uh, of some rich uh, person on the planet or something, so we don't know. So we can speculate that it wasn't actually her first time swimming. Also we know that she came originally from another planet with her parents, so maybe she actually swam as a kid before all of that, so maybe she did know how to swim from before, and so it's not really a huge plot hole. Also I think she said something to BB-8 about uh, not going to a specific place in the desert because he might uh, drown there, I guess she meant uh, that soft sand that you can sink in, so it's not exactly the same. But maybe she experienced something like that which was kind of like swimming, and so maybe she does have some experience with uh, not sinking somewhere and so it's not really a huge deal so this whole topic it's not a huge uh, problem but i do think the movie should have shown us that she has some kind of weakness you know like in that movie uh, unbreakable in which bruce willis was revealed to be some kind of superhero and yet he had a big weakness of uh, he's unable to swim because his, uh, i guess his bones are too dense and so he's too heavy so he will actually sink to the bottom of a, a pool and so it's a good thing for a hero to have a weakness. And so why didn't they do that here with Rey just to show that she's not perfect at everything. And this ties with the whole Mary Sue situation because she's too perfect at everything and that's not a good thing. She needs to have some weaknesses as a character. So this little bit adds uh, again to that big problem. And so I do acknowledge this is a problem but uh, it's not technically a big plot hole. 
Something else I noticed that annoys me much more than this is that she's actually able to speak with Chewbacca even though she just met him a few days before and she even translates him to Luke who knew him for 30 years and yet Rey is translating Chewie for Luke. So that's really insulting. That, that bit was really annoying. Now the movie didn't say that Luke doesn't know that language but Rey seems to think that he will be unable to even though she's supposed to know that she knows him from before and also we kind of wonder how come Rey knows that language so well so easily even though she just met Chewie a few days before so I guess she knew that language before but how? So that again shows her to be so smart and brilliant and uh, she knows uh, things that she's not supposed to know that it's illogical for her to know so she's the best pilot she's the best at being a Jedi without any training she is the most powerful she's the most clever the strongest and the most moral character and all that stuff together so that is a very big problem so uh, that's all I wanted to say about it for today let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you all next time bye bye